Hi everyone, Inhaxed here. As you can see, uh, we have a lovely animation of the Earth here. I've made this video to counter some of the misinformation coming from the flat Earth side. Uh, there often we'll talk about the incredible velocities that the Earth is spinning or moving around the solar system or uh, moving through the galaxy as if uh, these are some kind of incredible speeds that we should notice when of course we all know that you only feel acceleration and deceleration. You don't feel anything uh, when you're just moving along at the same speed. This is also an animation to give some idea of the scale. Here you see I've got the Earth in the center and I've selected the moon and that's the orbit of the moon, the red line, the circle. So quite a way. We're going to increase the speed of the camera and start moving back a bit further. We're at about 0.2 or 2 tenths of the speed of light there. That's what the C stands for. So you can see it's pretty large distances involved already. You can see actually on the left hand side here uh, in the top left corner is some of the information about how far we're actually from our target, which is currently the moon. And as I move back, that will increase. You'll also notice in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, there is a time and date. And that's set to the current time and date of when I'm filming this video uh, and set to real time. So everything is moving at the speed that it normally would in the solar system. Strangely, I'm not seeing a great deal of movement. And this is the point, of course. On the enormous scales of the solar system and the Earth, these speeds that we're traveling aren't even noticeable. The stars in the background of this picture are all correctly mapped as well. So the motion there should be apparent. If there is any motion at all. There is obviously a motion uh, it has been measured by astronomers but whether we could see that with the human eye is very doubtful so i'm gradually going to keep zooming out to wider and wider uh, view of the solar system and the different orbits of the planets i'll put the orbits back on in a moment just to show very soon we won't even be able to see the orbit of the moon in uh, regards to the scale of the solar system. Now we've got a lot of funny green lines. I'm just getting lined up with the plane of the ecliptic of the solar system. And then we have the sun and some of the other planets. It'll get a little bit clearer when I move above the plane of the solar system and start looking down. Uh, you'll get a better idea. But here we are, still real time still moving around the sun at our normal speed, still not even perceptible. Now the camera is fixed to our target, the Earth. And we're actually just looking at Venus, but we still have the Earth centered. Just going to zoom out a bit further, increase the speed. So that's about 8.38 times the speed of light that we're traveling at the moment. Completely impossible in the real universe, unless you know a trick that I don't or anybody else does at the moment. So we're getting to a point now where it's getting difficult to even resolve the moon and the Earth as being separate objects. And then we have the orbit of Venus in red. And where the crosshairs is there, that's Earth again. Mercury being the closest, then Venus, then Earth, and then the next one out is Mars. So zooming further out, still no apparent motion. I hate to break it to you, but we're not actually going to see any motion at all. 
not from these, not on these scales. This animation is scientifically correct and matches the observations of the stars and planets that have been made um, since the beginning of science, I guess, refined further and further. And this is a model created from them. So everything should be moving exactly as it would in the real natural world. So this is the Dwarf Planet series. It's probably one that most people haven't heard about. Uh, it's about, I guess, what you would call the position of the asteroid belt. Though the asteroids are very loose uh, and often have hundreds of thousands of kilometers between them. It's not quite like uh, it was in the sci-fi movies we saw as children. So we're getting out to the orbit of Jupiter now, that's the red line. Our tiny little planet and our tiny little orbit there are getting smaller and smaller and harder and harder to even resolve. And we're not even out of our solar system yet. Okay, and Saturn's orbit. Anyway, I think you're probably getting the idea by now. These uh, incredible speeds that they talk about uh, aren't so incredible on the scales of the solar system and the galaxy that we live in. Anyway, hope you enjoy this and take care everyone. I'm just going to play a little bit of music for the rest of the video. Have a great day.